Laughing Historically. Welcome to Laughing Historically. I'm Nevin. And I'm Brandon. Nevin, Thanksgiving is upon us, or as they know it in the turkey community, Judgment Day. Or, or, or just Turkey Day. <laughs> <laughs> no, 45 million turkeys are eaten each year for Thanksgiving. That's a lot of sleeping, too. But did you know that the turkey almost became our national bird? I did. I've heard, in, in history class in college, it briefly talks about this, about this uh -huh. whole debate. But it's always just like it's dismissed. It's like uh -huh. it's the bald eagle. Forget about it. <laughs> but I know what you're talking about, the little story anecdote here. Yeah. Well... We all know Ben Franklin, father of our country, yeah. bifocals, he loved the ladies. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> if you watched our episode earlier, you'd learn all about his little lady loving. Yeah. And so, 1782, the Continental Congress adopts the Great Seal. Okay, so that's the first use of the bald eagle. The first use of the bald eagle. Right. And it was picked by the guy who drew it, Charles Thompson, who was uh, the secretary of the Continental Congress. Okay. He was an Irishman from Philly. That's interesting, Irishman. So he, since he was the secretary, he got to do all the documents. Yeah. And so he would do some drawings when they were needed. Okay. So he did a rough sketch. So of they the went to this guy and said, "Draw us a bird for <laughs> yeah. our national bird." Well, it was his. They, they they played with a rooster and a phoenix. Now, and... He, every country has a national bird. I was doing some research. I didn't know this. I thought it was our country had a bird. Apparently, every country has a bird. And some of them have like the dodo. Like, see, like birds <laughs> aren't even around anymore. Why the bald eagle? Well, the eagle, the only eagle that's native to um, North America is the bald eagle. Oh, I know that. So there's okay. eagles found all over the place, but the only place a bald eagle is found it's is here. North America. Yeah. So he makes this really rough sketch of the seal. Okay. And it's sent around to the members of the Continental Congress. They're coming up with a bird before they even establish a bank. You yeah, no, this? this is way before a lot of things. <laughs> this They're is talking about the word and seal gets across the, the ocean to Ben Franklin, who's in France. <laughs> ben Franklin, he sees this, this rough sketch, and he thinks it looks more like a turkey than an eagle. Just to show you how long it took for information to get around back then, yeah. uh, in early 1784, the word of Ben Franklin's opinion on this finally got, got out. Get ba got From, back. It was, a, it was a letter to his daughter. To his daughter. Yeah. Yeah. So she receives this letter in 1784, spreads it around. And in it, Ben Franklin states that the bald eagle is a bird of bad morals <laughs> and character. <laughs> Um, how could a bird have bad morals? He also doesn't make his living honestly. <laughs> yeah, he says this. Yes. He says that, the, that it waits in a tree for all the other birds to get all the fish. Yes. And it swoops in for the remnants. Yes, yes. Yeah. He equates him to a king, which at that time was the worst thing you could say to of, of course, somebody yeah. in America. But the turkey, the turkey, he says, <laughs> he thought, you know, it's a little vain and silly, but it's a bird of courage and wouldn't hesitate to attack a red coat that attacked now, his farm. You, you, you realize this because he actually saw turkeys on his farm. He used to scare people off. Yes. So they're vicious turkeys. Yeah, and also they that are. regiment of turkeys in the Revolutionary War that fought the redcoats. <laughs> <laughs> I just find this funny because it's something that you think is tasty and delicious. You yeah. never think of something like a turkey, like being able to shoo you off. Well, it's important to remember that this is, a, at this time, the turkeys that we were very different than they are yeah, today. Yeah, Because you have 100 years of domestication. Probably bigger. So yeah. they were bigger, they were much more colorful, they flew a lot. Do they taste as good? They taste just as good. <laughs> um, he probably meant the domestic turkey, not the wild turkey, because the wild turkey was a very cowardly bird. Uh, the Apache Indians wouldn't eat wild turkeys because they thought if they ate them, they would get their cowardice from the turkey. Yeah, that's interesting. But they were a, a big a big source of food in the in the revolutionary times okay. uh, the turkey and they um, were brought over to France and, and, and England and they started to import the turkeys from America yeah I remember how turkeys mm -hmm. when I, I, I just learned about this that turkeys apparently were <laughs> were a big export yeah <laughs> I never knew about this one you know however the pilgrims did not Eat turkey. Well, they had, they had fish. They had and fish they had, from um, Maine, from Maine. Duck and something else, I think. Mm -hmm. They didn't have turkey. You know? But you know, that's a whole other story. The Pilgrims yeah. and Thanksgiving. That's a whole other story. Yeah. Um, despite Franklin's efforts, by 1787 they finally made the decision, and they went with the bald <laughs> eagle. Not doing the turkey. No <laughs> way. With the bald no eagle. turkey. <laughs> but every year, uh, since Harry Truman. The president is presented with a turkey around Thanksgiving. Truman started the tradition. Truman started the tradition. Dropping and bombs and eating turkeys. <laughs> for years, for years, the, the turkeys would, the presidents would get the turkeys and eat the turkeys immediately. 
<laughs> the ones at the live turkeys that they're presented. And then starting with uh, George Bush first, uh, they pardoned the turkeys. Oh, yeah, I remember this. The whole mm -hmm. t that whole joke going around, the whole pardoning the turkey. They every actually year. pardoned the turkey. The, um, <laughs> what, what is it to be pardoned I for? Like this. It didn't commit a crime? No, well, what? it's, it's kind of pardoned. eaten, but they don't get eaten if they're pardoned. Uh, the, <laughs> We're saving just you, buddy. Don't no, worry. Don't worry. Uh, the George W. Bush turkeys, they went to live in Disney World what? and became the grand marshals of the Thanksgiving parade. Like the staffs? Like the, yes. the staffs? They're leading the parade. <laughs> <laughs> you are hereby pardoned. <laughs> you will live in Disneyland. So there's hope for at least one turkey every year. One. <laughs> will live. Uh, so I guess, you know, enjoy your turkey. Yes. Uh, or tofurkey if you're one of those people. Oh, uh, that's kind of bizarre. <laughs> or you could do the turducken. The turducken. Or do it, you fry, you put everything in a turkey, that's, a duck, that's a so chicken, and you fry it. Now that's American. That should be our national bird. <laughs> Three birds in one. The turducken <laughs> should be our national bird. So, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>